Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I would do a good old grocery haul because I haven't done one of these in a while. I try and do one a month and I also try and do a what we eat in a week video a month as well. So I thought I would film my groceries because they have just arrived. They are from Tesco. I've spent about just over £65. It's for our family of five, so myself, my husband and our three small children. There are five evening meals here and all our lunches and snacks and I'm just going to get started and show you what we are having this week. I will also put our meal plan in the description box below. So let me get started and show you what I have got. So here we go, here are our groceries. Like I said, there are five evening meals here. I didn't go for seven this week because the weather has been so lovely and it's forecasted lovely for ages. And we've been taking to kind of having after school picnics with friends or we have been going to my mum's for a barbecue. So I didn't want to get seven meals and then waste them. So I thought I would go for five. So I'll have to maybe go to the supermarket later on in the week to pick up more meals or maybe get some more fruit or whatever. I also realized that I am making lentil curry I was going to make it tonight and I've managed to forget the lentils so that's quite an important ingredient in the lentil curry so I'm gonna have to go to the supermarket and get those but other than that I have got all our snacks and our lunches I didn't really need any toiletries or cleaning products this week and I also didn't need breakfasts because we've got a big box of cereal so I will just start I've kind of grouped it into meals and I will just get explaining what we're having so first up one night we are having halloumi and hummus flatbreads with chips and salad. Our kids love halloumi, they call it squeaky cheese and it's just a really nice, easy, quick weekly meal to have. So we've got the halloumi, I've got some reduced fat hummus, I have no idea if that's better for you than the full fat stuff but I went for the reduced fat. Two packets of flatbreads, there's six in each so we will easily eat these with our family of five. Never had these before, but I thought they looked quite interesting. Our freezer is currently broken, so we can't get any frozen food. Normally, I would either get oven chips that you put in the freezer, or I would just make potato-y type things myself. However, I just liked the look of these and just thought they were quite quick and easy, so I thought I would get those. They looked quite nice. Quite expensive for what they are, though. And then... I have got some aromatic baby leaf salad to go into our flatbreads or to have on the side. Some spring onions, although I'm the only one that actually eats spring onions in our house. And then peppers, I've got three peppers, but then I've also got some more over there. As a family, we eat a lot of peppers. It's probably our favorite vegetable that all five of us like. So as such, we get through a lot. So they will go into the flatbreads or on the side for a side salad. And that's pretty much all we need for our halloumi flatbreads. Then moving up, I'm going to make a lentil curry. Like I said, I'm going to make it tonight, but manage to forget the lentils. So I'm going to have to go out and get some of those. But for our lentil curry, I've got some poppadoms because the kids love it with some mango chutney and also some naan breads as well that we will share. I have got some boil in the bag rice. And then to make the lentil curry, I will link to the recipe below if you'd like to know how it's made. But I have got some madras paste pots. I will have some lentils when I actually buy it. I have got two onions. I've got some vegetable stock. I have got some frozen veg. And this is exactly why I am going to make it tonight because our freeze is broken. So I will use this in the lentil curry tonight. And then I have got some turmeric powder as well. So that will be another evening meal. Then moving up, if you are a regular watcher of my channel, you will know that we love fajitas. We have them once a week without fail. They're our favorite meal. So we always have chicken and chorizo fajitas and we always eat them without the kids. So we always have them on our own just because we like to do that. So we've got the chicken, we have got some reduced fat chorizo. We have got the Tesco medium fajita kit. I know I say this every time, I know it would be cheaper if I did it myself and also it might be nicer if I did it myself but we just love this medium for heat kit and so that's the one that we get. We've got some iceberg lettuce for our fajitas and avocado and some peppers and then moving along. 
Another night we are going to have this Mediterranean chicken. So these are often on offer, like two for 99p, but we really like this one. It's one of those ones where you cook everything in the bag and then you just pop it in the oven. So it's really good. It's really quick and easy for during the week. And the Mediterranean chicken one is definitely our favorite. So we will have that with the remainder of the chicken breast over there. We might put a little bit of chorizo in it, but I don't know, I try not to eat too much chorizo. And then we will put some cherry tomatoes in there, some peppers, I think that's it, it's a really quick, and then obviously the rice as well, we'll have more rice. And I think that's it, it's a really quick, I might put some of this in if there's any way of kind of keeping it. And uh, yeah, that'll be really nice. So that's one night, Mediterranean chicken and rice. And then that's it, apart from one more meal. And the final meal that we will be having to make up our five meals is a vegetable risotto. So John cooks a delicious vegetable risotto. So in it, we will have obviously the risotto rice. We put lots of parmesan in there as well. And then we will have peppers, any leftover veg that we've got, sugar snap peas, maybe some of the tomatoes if we've got anything left over, spring onions for me. And he just puts it all in and makes a really lovely vegetable risotto that the kids really love as well. So we'll be having that one night. So that's all our evening meals. And then lunches, the kids are at school um, quite a lot of the time. We have got bread and snacks for my little boy and apples and fruit and stuff for lunch. But what we're gonna be having for lunch mainly this week is either salad -y bits or we have got a sourdough bloomer, which we love. And then we've got some eggs. I love poached eggs on sourdough with a little bit of parma ham or just without the ham as well. So that's what we're gonna be having for our lunches this week. And then moving along, we've got quite a lot of fruit, but like I said, we're probably gonna have to go to the supermarket and get more fruit because especially now, it's so sunny outside the kids are just eating fruit a lot so we've got two packets of strawberries to be honest I don't know why I've got two I think it was two for three pounds so I thought I was getting that but I somehow managed to I don't know what I've done but we've got two packets of strawberries and some raspberries some grapes some apples but like I said we will probably have to go and get a little bit more fruit later on I always try and do as minimal as I can so I don't waste anything and then I'd rather just go to the supermarket later on and get more if I need to then I have got myself some glass bottle coke I don't know if you watch my channel regularly but I am a bit of a diet coke addict I do love it but I'm really trying to be mindful about drinking from plastic bottles I do prefer them in plastic bottles but I am really trying to limit the amount of plastic it is really hard though if anyone's got any tips for being able to reduce plastic when you do an online food shop because you know there are just things that are wrapped in plastic you know that you can't really help so I'd love to know if anyone's got any tips but anyway I'm trying to reduce the plastic bottles that I drink because I drink far too many so the cans are I don't mind cans of Diet Coke I do have those but I do really love glass bottle coke so I have bought six of those they are so expensive though but I thought I would get them as a little special treat to myself to try and stop drinking as much plastic stick and then we have got these which are so delicious the kids love these as well they're chocolate and salted caramel rice cakes just as a snack with lunches or in the evening or whatever we have got some fruit stars which again the kids really love some bread we might have to get more bread it depends you never really know what's happening during the week like whether we'll need more bread or not or whether they'll want cereal for their breakfast just never know and then we have got some salt and vinegar rice cakes because both Ren and I love these we think they're delicious and then we've got Ritz because again the kids love these as a snack for after school we have got Doritos because the girls love these as a snack for after school as well. And then other than that, we have got some yogurts. So we have got the 0% fat Greek style yogurt, which I love. I have this for myself and I put granola on in the mornings for my breakfast with honey or I cut up some strawberries and have it with honey for my pudding. And then we've just got some toffee yogurts because the kids really love these as a treat. And that is it. That is our groceries for the next week or five days of meals anyway. So yeah, that's what we're having. And that is it. That is my grocery haul for this week. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you're having this week for your meal plan because I genuinely do read the comments and get inspiration for what we're gonna have as well. So do leave me a comment below and let me know what you're eating this week. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.